Welcome to Move Ahead at Home, a collection of instructional videos created to help learners of all ages deepen their understanding of mathematical concepts. My name is Glenna Tabor. For the past few decades, I've worked with K-12 schools across the United States as an educational consultant. My mission has always been to transform the way that math is taught into something more meaningful, engaging, and fun. <laughs> Students who have used my techniques have developed incredible number sense and have a better foundation for higher level math. With so many students now learning at home, I wanted to share my techniques and methods with parents, grandparents, caregivers, and any other person who wants to move the learners they know ahead. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to use just a few resources to play math games that are simple and fun. <laughs> Plus, they will help your learners get what they need to succeed. Get that deck of cards again because we're going to practice our basic facts. Why practice basic addition and subtraction facts? High school math teachers repeatedly tell me that their students can learn the steps to a factor of quadratic equation, but will get bogged down in adding and subtracting knowing their basic facts. Kindergartners will benefit if you use manipulatives. First through fifth graders all need practice. And as you could tell, it would help to for the middle schooler and the high schooler if they practice. So let's get that deck of cards. Remove the face cards and the tens. And the aces will represent one. Now that we know that, let's get a place mat. These mats, I just use watch claws. This helps everyone have their own workspace so that they're not confused. And I put in too. I'm not playing against someone, but I would if I were in your home. It will make it competitive, and that is always so much more fun. So, let's divide these in half. And this learner and player will turn over these cards, and this learner and player will turn over these cards, and the person who can say the sum first and tell how they knew it will win the round. Here we go. Did you get it? Yes. <laughs> Six. How did I know that? I saw five and I count one more, and that's six. If you can't explain it, you can't keep the cards. Let's try it again. Oh, there's a joker that was left in. Another one. <laughs> what is it? What is five and four more? Well, if you know five plus five, then five plus five is equals 10, and four is one less, Five plus four must equal nine. Did you hear my think aloud? That was important. Some of your learners may finger count. You want them to start seeing this and knowing that it's five and seeing this amount on the card and knowing that it's four. What you are doing is taking an addend and an addend and making the sum. That's the simple instructions for addition war. I played it and I became faster. You play it with your learners at home and they will definitely be moving ahead. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw and want more, visit my website, glennatabor.com. There are over 100 games there you can download all for free. <laughs> the games are fun, they teach the concepts your children need to be learning right now. <laughs> if you have any questions or you'd like to see games for other concepts, please let me know in the comments section below. If you like this game, be sure to click the subscribe button so you'll know every time a new game is added. See you next time as we move ahead at home.